The Constitution of the United States, Article 2, Section 1, states no person except a natural-born citizen or a citizen of the United States at the time of the adoption of this Constitution shall be eligible to the office of president. Every single president that has ever been elected in this country has always been a natural-born citizen, meaning that he was born within the territory of the United States and that both of his parents were U.S. citizens or he was a citizen of the United States in 1787 at the time that the Constitution was adopted. Every single one of them, except Barack Obama. There has been a movement by the Democratic Party to try and stop the news of this getting out and to add as much confusion to the movement that is trying to expose him as being unqualified for the office of president. Now last week someone sent Orly Taze this photograph which purports to be a photograph of a certified copy of a certification of live birth from Mombosa, Kenya, stating that Barack Obama was born there on August 4, 1961. Orly Taze released this to the public, and she also submitted it to the court, asking that the U.S. courts help us authenticate this document. Immediately, the Democrats were claiming foul, saying that we created a phony document. Well, as it turns out, this document was created by a Democrat, and it was sent to Early Taze to make her look foolish. Well, she certainly didn't look foolish. She did the right thing. She stated she wasn't sure if it was authentic or not and she submitted it to the court. Within one day, the Democratic Party came up with this. This is a JPEG of a certified copy of a registration of birth from Australia, and it bears striking similarities to the document that was sent to Orly Tays. This had been posted on a genealogy website in Australia. This document is phony also. If you look closely, you can see the title father on the form was simply photoshopped in on top of a scan of a wrinkled piece of paper. Had this word actually been printed on the form, it would have been all distorted. Also, if we look at the bottom of this, you can clearly see that the title deputy is on top of the registrar's signature. So the Democrats debunked their fraudulent document with another fraudulent document. On Free Republic, the person that had created the document that was photographed and sent to Early Tays, thinking he's had enough fun, posted a wrinkled copy of the document that he had, and he wrote on it, you've been punked. Well, it's not the birther movement that has been punked. It is every citizen in this country that has been punked by Barack Obama. He has posted a phony document and continued to maintain that this is a copy of his original birth certificate. Nothing could be further from the truth. Now, when this first came out last June, it was noted that there is no seal or signature on this document. Within a month, factcheck.org took photographs of the document. This photograph put out by factcheck, if you look closely, you will see that there is no seal. Here I've zoomed up a bit. On the bottom rectangle is the ink from the date that has bled through the document. And on the top in the section I've circled there, is exactly where the seal should have appeared. There is no seal here. The other photographs that Fact Check shows us are the document after they added the seal. This is the seal from a genuine document, and as you can see, there is a gap between the two outer rings of the seal. This is a blown up version of the seal on Barack Obama's certificate as shown by fact check and anyone can clearly see there is no gap between the two outer rings. Also, these certificates of live birth or the genuine 1961 birth certificates belonging to twins that were born one day after Obama. And as you can clearly see, his document that he claims to be his original birth certificate does not even look close to this. So it is not the birther movement that has been punked. It has been every citizen in the United States of America 
that has believed that Barack Obama is a natural born citizen and that he is eligible for the office of president that has been punked. Now it is also worthy of noting that this certification of live birth that Barack Obama and his press secretary keep insisting is his original birth certificate has never been certified as genuine by anyone except Robert Gibbs, Obama's press secretary, who does not have the authority to do it. No official in the state of Hawaii has ever said that the document that Barack Obama posted on his website is genuine. Now people keep bringing up the fact that there were birth announcements in the newspaper. Well they are not proof that Barack Obama was born in the state of Hawaii, nor are they proof that he is a natural born citizen. As I've mentioned in previous videos, I will mention it again here, a certification of live birth, even if this was proved to be genuine, is the same document that the state of Hawaii routinely issues to children that were born outside of the country. They do not gain citizenship by registering their birth in this country. There is no requirement that their parents be U.S. citizens to get this document. All that is required is that the parents or an adult fill out a form reporting the birth and this document is issued. And when this document is issued, at the time that a birth is registered, a notice goes to the newspapers. So neither this document nor the newspaper announcements is proof that Obama was born in Hawaii or that he is a natural born citizen. Not the governor of Hawaii nor any spokesperson for the Hawaii Department of Health has ever stated that these certifications of live birth posted by Barack Obama are genuine. World Net Daily questioned Janice Akubo just a week ago and she stated she does not know why Kiyomi Fukino never verified them. She was also questioned about the fact of whether Hawaii has ever destroyed any of their vital records because CNN reported that Barack Obama's original birth certificate was destroyed eight years ago. She did not even give a straight answer on that. She just simply said that she personally was not aware that any documents had been destroyed and then she gave the slippery statement that all documents that we have have not been destroyed. Well, obviously, if they have them, they didn't destroy them. Any idiot can figure that out. So once again, this seems to be just a red herring, the birth certificate issue, because the fact is, is that Obama's father was never a citizen of the United States. He had no intention of ever becoming one. And because of that, Barack Obama's citizenship was subject to the British National Nationality Act of 1948 and that British Nationality Act made Barack Obama a British citizen the moment of his birth. Even if it could be proved that Barack Obama was born in Hawaii, he would still have been born subject to the jurisdiction of multiple nations and being such would never be considered to be a natural born citizen of the United States. He would be a citizen of the United States and a citizen of Great Britain. Having dual citizenship, he would not be considered a natural born citizen and he would be ineligible for the presidency. Thanks for listening.